Hello. This video is an Employee Navigator tutorial and will walk you through how to register a new Employee Navigator account, be it for a new hire or a longtime employee using the system for the first time. It will also show you how to complete the initial tasks assigned to you and walk you through the site's main basic aspects. Other videos are available to demonstrate specific uses of Employee Navigator, for example, enrolling in benefits or accessing plan documents. But for the initial steps, we hope you find this video straightforward and helpful. You should have received an email from Employee Navigator with a highlighted registration link. On the screen now is a sample email. Please open your email now. But before clicking on the registration link, take note of your company's identifier as you will need this later in the registration process. Click on the registration link now, which will take you to Employee Navigator to create an account. Here you will enter your first name, last name, the company identifier from the email that we talked about, your PIN, which will be only the last four digits of your social security number, and your birth date. When you are done, press next. You can now enter your username. Employee Navigator suggests that you use your work email as your username, but for now we are creating a fake one. You can enter the password of your choosing, click Agree, and click Next. You will then be greeted by a welcome message. You can read it and click Next. The next page is an electronic signature and consent form. Because Employee Navigator is an online cloud-based system, electronic signatures are used in place of physical ones. By clicking Sign Document, you are agreeing to use an electronic signature on any forms and documents requiring one on the Employee Navigator website. You can read this page, then press Sign Document, and press Next. The next page asks for your address information. Please fill it out accordingly and hit Next. You will then be asked to complete various forms, depending on what your employer has assigned to you and depending on if you are a new hire or simply new to Employee Navigator. After completing these tasks, you will be taken to the Employee Navigator homepage, which is shown on the screen now. We will not discuss all the functions of the homepage in depth, but we will briefly take a look at a few of the functions listed here. Each employee will see the main blue welcome banner and four large buttons underneath it. These categories can also be accessed by the smaller buttons found in the top right of your screen. The first category is profile. Your employer will have filled out some of this for you and you can go check and make changes about personal information. Next is benefits. Here, depending on where it falls in your company's enrollment time frame, you can select, adjust, or review what plans and coverage you have. While changes may only be made during a new hire or open enrollment period, at any point you can come check your current plan. There is also resources where you can find documents, the employee directory, and other helpful links. Beneath these buttons, you can see if your employer has posted any links for you to see, as well as any compliance or benefit documents. Necessary contacts are listed at the bottom of the screen. Specifically, your company's HR contact will be listed in the top right-hand corner of the screen in the dark blue bar to contact with any questions. This has been a brief overview of the setup and homepage of Employee Navigator. There are other videos available with a step-by-step -step walkthrough of other specific functions of the system. We hope this video has been helpful and welcome to using Employee Navigator.